Hey everyone, this is Desiree. Um, I posted a post on Facebook yesterday because I was jumping for joy. Because I stepped on the scale, which I don't normally do, and I lost 19 pounds in the last kind of six weeks. Now, for some people that might be really fast. Um, and I know the experts say you should lose between two and three pounds a week. But I'm going to be totally honest with everyone. I did not have, make any plans to lose weight. I was just trying to eat more healthily because my health has been up and down, not in anything, any major way, but also influenced by a lot of people who have fallen sick and lots of my friends who have passed due to cancer. I just felt it's about time that I started to take care of myself. So I wanted to feed myself better. So there were only really two things that I did to help me lose the 19 pounds in the last six weeks and I broke all the rules. So I ate dairy, I ate meat, I drank sugar, I ate chocolate, I had McDonald's several times, KFC a couple of times. Um, I've eaten donuts. I've eaten all the foods that people say that you shouldn't eat on a diet. And to be quite honest with you, the only reason why I ate those foods is because in the last few weeks also, I've been working um, with a new client. And because of my commute times and my journeys and the, and the working hours, it meant that I've had to kind of like adjust how I eat a little bit in the evening. So therefore, these are the two things that I did. I'll make that three maybe. Um, oh, and before I go any further, one thing I should mention, I also didn't exercise. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't either. I think exercise is really important. I just don't have the time to. But the one thing that I can say is, is that I've been moving more as I'm, well, because I'm commuting. So here we go. Here are the two things that I did differently in the last six weeks than I did in the previous six weeks. So for breakfast and dinner, I ate, wait for it, food in its natural state as possible. Clean, non-processed, so basically if, if, you know, people talk about the five portions of fruit a day, and some of the packets for apple biscuits or Jaffa cake orange biscuits say that this is one of your two a day or something like one of your five a day or something like that. But the orange in the Jaffa cake doesn't look like the orange you would see in the tree or in the fruit aisle. So therefore, it's not proper food. It's processed food. So basically, I ate in the morning for lunch. I don't snack anyway. I'm not a snacker. Um, I ate fruit and vegetables. I would have a salad for lunch, which I would make up from home. The only dressings I would put in it would be um, olive oil, um, yeast flakes, and maybe like a rock salt, not table salt, because it has so many chemicals in it, um, pepper and lemon. But I wouldn't eat normal green salad leaves, spinach, fresh from my house, from my kitchen, I know what's in it. I would then also munch on bananas and tangerines. And you know the greatest thing about it? I wasn't hungry. Wasn't hungry at all. It took a while, to. it took about two weeks for me to kick into it, but wasn't hungry at all. And I just wanted to eat better. I didn't want to snack on chocolates and crisps and biscuits and cakes which is my you know my drug of choice food drug of choice just wanted to eat healthily number two i didn't drink my calories no 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 i didn't drink my calories at all all i drank during the day was water and i drank rosebush tea or another kind of herbal tea i didn't drink coffee I didn't drink green tea or any of those other teas. I don't really like them anyway. So I chose, and, and I chose, so I chose things like um, lemon and ginger, 
rosebush tea or rose voice if that's a correct pronunciation tea um, and mm, I think a sorrel tea as well um, and that's basically it so when I got home in the evening or on my way home depending on what time my day finished I didn't have to feel guilty about what I'd eaten across the day I'd already eaten healthily so if I ended up just having a sandwich for dinner or a junk food meal for dinner or if I came home and cooked rice with grilled fish and ate more than I should I didn't feel guilty about it <clears throat> so the benefits the true kind of psychological and physical benefits of eating like that for me personally was I've noticed that whenever I eat sugar I get hungry within about 30 minutes of consuming anything with refined sugar in it I want crisps I want biscuits I want cake I want junk food I don't want healthy food I don't want water um, I want fizzy fizzy sodas and you know colas and things like that that I'm trying I'm really trying to avoid consuming <clears throat> that's one and that will also curb your cravings by not consuming or reducing your sugar intake um, the other thing is is that you're getting as many nutrients into your body in the first part of the day so that when it comes to the last part of the day you don't necessarily feel the need to eat as much because also you're reducing um, you're reducing your portions think about it this way your stomach is supposed to be the size of your fist so when you put your stomach to your fist or even put your fist sorry your fist to your stomach <laughs> or when you put your fist on a plate and then you look at the portion of your food and realize exactly how much you are overstretching your stomach when you eat that is the reason why a lot of us are overweight and I've, I've actually watched people and I've watched myself when I've kind of like, you know, been outside of myself, just feed myself over the course of a day in the past. Just feed and feed and feed with so much food that I've probably consumed my body weight in food, to be quite honest with you, in the course of the day. And that's, it can't fit into this. No way. Our standard dinner plates are about four or five times the size of this. So imagine every meal, almost every meal time, you're stretching your stomach even more and more and more, and that's why our waistlines are so big. Um, and I must give a disclaimer here: I'm not a nutritionist. I would not claim to be a scientist, although I have an engineering degree. I would not claim to be any professional with any certification, and I'm not making any recommendations for anybody to follow what I've done. I just wanted to share with you something that I've tried. For me, it was easy. There were lots of other things that I've tried, like the Jason Vale um, juicing plan, which is great. I noticed some of my ailments, like my allergies and my eczema and, and uh, my asthma cleared up really quickly. Um, my skin was amazing. I felt better, I had a lot of energy. But it was a hard job to do, and you can only do it for seven days at a time, really. And then you go back to eating in a different way. And I, I see that more as a kind of a master cleanse. You know, I'm looking for a way that I can do regularly, consistently. Um, and it's something that can fit into my lifestyle quite easily. Juicing in the morning is a bit hard because have you ever tried to clean one of those machines when you're trying to go to work? Exactly. So, um, and also I've tried... Uh, the Harkham diet which is great and it works but I fell off the wagon um, and there's so many things that I've tried that worked and I fell off the wagon for me personally because of I think because of my body type maybe because of my genetics or my you know my cultural or eth you know eth uh, I don't know what it's called but this is kind of like a word related to ethnics and food and stuff like that but for me it's fruits and vegetables as close to their raw state as possible now that winter's coming up I'm looking at steamed vegetables and or lightly steamed vegetables um, and less raw vegetables because I can't really eat wet cold food in the winter time my body it just doesn't go with my body type <clears throat> so 
Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to tell you, I just wanted to keep it simple. Um, I don't want to make any promises. Everybody says the same thing. Reduce your portion size, check. Eat more fruits and veg, check. Move around more. I did that, but I didn't do any specific exercise. Um, but just, you know, as part of my daily commute and, you know, kind of working in a very busy, um, dynamic working environment and trying to get more sleep. That's the other thing I should mention. I try to squeak, get at least seven hours of sleep a night, whereas normally I do about five or six. Um, and I think generally that's it. So I hope this video has helped you. I hope the tips and my experience of what I've done will help you. However, if there's any questions you have, anything that um, you want to know more about what I did or any suggestions, please leave a comment below. So whether it's a comment below my blog where this video will appear or a comment below the YouTube um, page where this video will also appear. Yeah, just leave it there and I'll check, the, check in on them and um, get back to you. But yeah, I'm really glad I've lost 19 pounds. I've been trying to lose weight for a long time, but not realizing what I did wrong, which is basically eat too much, eat the wrong foods and focus on losing the weight. I was focused on just eating healthily and I lost it. So here's to the next 16. Um, for those of you who want to know the specifics, I was 13 stone and seven pounds about six, six or seven weeks ago. I'm now 12 stone, two pounds, and my goal weight is 11 stone. Um, I was at that size back in 2000, in, in the summer of 2010. I was completely happy with the way my body looked and felt and how I moved, and that's where I want to be. Because I have certain goals for myself um, in terms of health and a few other things um, and therefore that's why taking care of myself um, and, and in helping others to do the same and do it in a simple way as well is really my goal. So thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry it's a bit longer um, than I would normally make but I'm so excited to be able to share with you my good news which I hope in turn will be your good news um, however you decide to to achieve a goal to improve on your your physical and your um, on your physical health and also your well-being all right take care now bye-bye